Start off today, we've got a nice little uh, media availability. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce to my immediate right uh, is Jimmy Rain. He's the founder, president, and CEO of Great Southern Wood Preserving, which is best known for its Yellowwood brand products. And that, is, of course, is the proud sponsor of the Yellowwood 500 here at Talladega Super Speedway for the third year. To my far right, uh, this guy's guided the Auburn Tigers to over 150 wins in eight seasons, three Southeastern championships, as well as the team's first ever appearance in the Final Four. Of course, this is our honorary starter, Auburn head basketball coach, Bruce Pearl. So welcome to both of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's start with you first, Coach. Um, you know, you're here at the fastest racetrack on the planet. Uh, have you ever run any uh, fast offensive plays <laughs> the way you could compare? Well, yeah, we, we're known for playing fast. Uh, and you know, one of the things about defense is the hardest thing to do defensively is to get back, get matched up, and cover you. So if you get that ball down the floor and attack the basket early, sometimes you can get a better shot than, than if you just hold on the ball and let them all get set defensively. But now it's great. It's an honor to be here. And, and quite frankly, it's an honor for Jimmy to ask me to help uh, represent Auburn and represent Yellow Wood. Uh, it's just an, an amazing event. Uh, it kind of makes me proud to be an American. It makes me proud to be from the great state of Alabama um, and uh, to be at the fastest uh, super speedway on earth. So great to be here. Jimmy, again, this is a, the third year uh, that you guys have been a, a proud partner of ours. So tell us a little bit exactly why you and Yellowwood decided to get on board here at Talladega. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm like Bruce. I'm just proud to be here and be a part of this great race. And uh, I'm proud to be from Alabama too. It's uh, my home and I've lived here all my life. So I'm proud to do that. But I think one of the main reasons that we wanted to get involved with Talladega and NASCAR was that the fans of NASCAR are the people who build things. And they're very crucial to the success of our country. And uh, we need people to build things and continue to build things and create jobs and prosperity for our people and uh, that's what Talladega 500 does. The economic impact of this race to our state every year is over a half a billion dollars. So uh, that's very important. It's important to all of the citizens who live here and we're all about creating prosperity and building things and build things to last. So that's why we got involved. Well said. Let's open up for questions. I'm sure we've got some first right over here. Hi, Coach. Uh, my name is Scott, South Florida Tribune. There's no way I was not going to make this opportunity to come to Tallahassee. All the way from South Florida. Yeah, all the way from South Florida. So I've got to ask you, first of all, congratulations for what you've done on the basketball court. And I know that you get a really good adrenaline rush when you coach basketball and your players and you watch them to, to develop. But one of the things I've always loved to do is cover motorsports because of the adrenaline rush, you know, going speeds 150, 200 miles an hour and so forth. So what are your thoughts about not only being at Talladega, but the sport of auto racing itself? Because let's face it, when your mind and your heart are going 100 miles an hour, I'm sure you can see the cross connection between coaching and showing up at such an incredible sport like this. I, I can see the connection, uh, but you know, I don't know a lot about what goes on here. I'm fascinated to see it. Um, I'm excited about the power. I, I'm excited about the roar. You know the engines the you know it's like it's like the difference between being uh, you know watching a race at home versus watching it in person uh, same thing with seeing a ball game there's nothing like watching a ball game when you're there to get the feel of the crowd and what it's all about uh, I think what I'm blown away is this I mean as the head coach um, I get a lot of attention um, I get a lot of credit when we win I get the blame I deserve when we don't win uh, but it's an enormous operation uh, that is Auburn basketball. This is a thousand times bigger. So you look at the people that are here on the ground, from the people that, from the state troopers that are helping us get into the facility, to everybody that's involved in parking, and just the number of people that are that are here to help everybody have an amazing time on an, an, an amazing weekend. This is like Jimmy said. This is a this is a huge event, you know, and it's and it's a it's a worldwide event. It's happening right here in Talladega, you know, Alabama. Um, but just the teamwork that goes in, the stuff that goes on in the pits and the stuff that goes on you know, with the engineers and the, and the people that are developing the cars and all that different stuff, it's just uh, 
in that way, it sort of equates. We've won championships at Auburn in basketball because I got an amazing staff. And I would imagine that the champion of this race today, the same thing will be said true. Well, let me give you another analogy that I use. GMTA stands for Great Minds Think Alike. So uh, that, I kind of made that one up, okay? But at any rate, you kind of... Were you saying something about the NCAA and Great Minds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, well, I'm not going there. All I can tell you, but the purpose of the analogy, though, is you took, my follow-up question is the team concept. We know how much, as a basketball coach, you preach team, but then you just alluded to it moments ago that you have the drivers, you have the pit crew, you have the owners and so forth. So is there anything that you can take away from the team concept that you'll learn from what NASCAR people do over to your situation and focus on team, but at a much higher level? Well, I think it's about the celebration in the sense that, um, you know, I rely on my staff. I rely on my players, they rely on me. And um, if we could do it to better together as a team than the, the guy down the other end on that bench or the guy in the pit next to you, um, you know, you got a chance to win championships. In your life's greatest accomplishments, um, it's because you did something special with your friends and with your family. This thing I love about Yellow Wood, and I, I got a chance to go down there and visit some of their managers. That's a family company built on family principles, and we can ride with that. We'll roll with that. That's what that's what Auburn is all about. That's what Auburn basketball is all, about. and that's what you'll you'll see. And 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 when the champion comes in, it's not just a celebrated by a driver. It's that the whole team, because uh, it takes it takes that that, that 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 entire village to get that thing done. Take another question. If anyone has a question, just raise your hand. We have uh, mic runners in the room too. So uh, if you do have a question, make sure you raise your hand and we'll get to you. Over here on the left. Uh, this is Rusty Tyler with Volunteer Sports Network. Not the ball and tears of Tennessee Sports <laughs> Network, by the way. Wanted to make sure that was playing, playing Coach Pearl. But my questions actually are for Mr. Raines. Uh, your product, you sponsor, you have to sponsor this race. What other ties do you have in other, in other sports that you guys might sponsor? Well, our marketing department uh, pretty much makes those decisions, but uh, of course, our history says we've been involved with uh, college football, basketball, baseball. I guess that's kind of how we started back in the 80s with Coach Dye. Uh, when I came home from Harvard and trying to decide how I could differentiate my product from everybody else's, I had studied some cases up there and um, had seen where Frank Perdue had done that with chicken. And I talked to Pat about it and he said, well, let's try it. And of course we started back in, I don't know, 84, 85. And from that we went to other colleges and we had a long history of uh, supporting uh, college football and basketball with that. Thank you very much. Questions? Please don't be shy. Gwen, way back here in the back. Gwen Daru with the Birmingham Times. First of all, I want to, and this is for both of you, I want to say thank you and congratulations for all that you do. We here in Alabama appreciate everything. If you had one comment or one statement you wanted to share with the people of Alabama, the youth that are up and coming, what would each of you share? That's a great question, Gwen. Um, I think I would share with them uh, sort of our mantra at Great Southern. Uh, if you walk in our office, there is a large round stained glass window with our logo, and three words written on the outside of it. Duty, honor, country. That's what I'd share with them. Hold that up, pursue that, be true to that, stand your post, be accountable, keep your word. Bruce, I don't know how you follow that up. Go no, ahead, take no, a shot. You don't, you don't follow that up, just, just ditto. Um, you know, I think that uh, you know, there's so much misinformation out there and you don't know what's what. Uh, I, I grew up in New England, and I loved it there. 
I worked out in California and got my start in coaching out there. I spent a lot of time in the Midwest. Uh, and, and the last two jobs I've had would be Tennessee and, and Alabama. I've liked every place I've been, but I've never loved being living anywhere as much as I've loved living in the South. And so you asked me what my statement would be to the people of Alabama. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, we, we got a lot of great things going on here in the state. Uh, people ask the question, you know, this Auburn family thing, and you know, why is Auburn such a, the, the loveliest little village on the planet? It's about the people. It's just about the people who, who are trying to the best of their ability to live their lives the way Jimmy talked about living it. And, uh, you know, I just think that, you know, our job uh, here in education in the state of Alabama, okay, is to, is to bring our young people here, um, let them get educated, let them see it, but let them see how we treat each other. Let see what kind of neighbors we are, see what we're doing, um, and then get out there the rest of this country and see if we can make some of those other places even better. And uh, so what we're doing is working, and I'm very proud, as Jimmy is, to be from Alabama. Thank you, Bruce. Any more questions, friends? Carl over here, microphone over here to the far, uh, my far right. Hold on one second. Bruce is. Uh, Hold on one second. There's a microphone. Okay. Bruce is uh, is Yo and Broom going to be able to <clears throat> fill the gap left by Kessler and Jabari Smith? We are. Yeah, we're Jabari-less and we're Walker-less this year, but uh, I'm so proud of those kids. I miss I miss Walker Kessler and Jabari Smith because they just came to practice every day. They got there early, they stayed late, they rolled up their sleeves, they did their jobs. They weren't prima donnas, they wanted to be coach. They just wanted to get better. They wanted to win championships, they wanted to be unbelievable teammates. And, and, and that's as hard to replace as their greatness on the court. Um, but uh, I, yes, Jenna, I have room and Johan Trailer. I, I, I couldn't take two other guys that would have been available to me in the country and, and, and not think these guys are, are absolutely capable uh, of doing it. Um, you know, I would, be, I would be remiss if I didn't share one more thing. Uh, you know, Auburn was the first school uh, from the state of Alabama to ever get to the Final Four. And with the great programs at Alabama, UAB, uh, Auburn, things like that, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. But I can tell you right now, Auburn won't be the last. It'll happen again for us. It'll happen for a program like UAB or Alabama. And, uh, and, and just, again, just coming here to, to Talladega, um, you know, uh, such a very, very historical, special place. Um, it's something that we all, obvious, I'm obviously proud of what we've accomplished. I know the folks here are very proud of what you all accomplished. Thank you. We thank both of you for being here, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll tell you, Coach Pearl, you're going to have one incredible view of the start of this race like nobody else. <laughs> I'm excited about that opportunity and grateful. Bless. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving me this chance. Oh, thank you. For thank you very it. much. <clears throat>